morning, Vita. Yeah, we were back again. So today, Tuesday, 10 a.m. with that time for a char guild. Uh, let's go to the old business. Uh, Tuesday, we were talking about OKRs. First, uh, Mrs. Secret uh, Mrs. Secretary, can you open Google's OKR first? Thank you very much. Hey, Google, play music from Tool. Sure, Tool from Spotify. Playing on Book at Vista, Town Hall. Yeah, can you open Google's OKR? Thank you. All right, so... Sorry, Google, I don't uh, understand. Your first OKR, BBE event, birthdays, and anniversary greetings. Um, actually, make a birthday anniversary list for all BBE employees. Make birthday anniversary greeting cards. Announce and wish a happy birthday or anniversary to BBE announcement group. So, I have a question. Whose anniversary is coming this week? Today is this week and I already quit. Is it today? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, what time are you planning to announce that? Uh, after lunch. Okay. Um. All right. Cool. Yes. As for the anniversary announcement. So, is this going to be like a improvement for next month? Yes. You guys are freezing. Uh, no, I mean your key result. Is it going to be measured next month? <laughs> next month. Okay. So this one percent improvement, which which uh, which 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 one that is improved? For? Uh, oh, for from the one teammate satisfaction. Oh, teammate satisfaction. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. So moving on to the the second one. Is it the hiring first? Hosted reservation first. One three two. Okay. Go ahead, please. Hosted reservation. Learn job job Bible for beavers. Pair with other other H I R member. Cover hundred percent host and reservation in job job. So, um, how? How many, uh, like, how big is actually the, the frequency of uh, hosting in Jogja right now? Uh, for hosting, the today and yesterday, we didn't have a uh, check in, but tomorrow we have check in in Hosting Jogja. Oh, that's, that's where you are going to have the, the party, right? The Halloween party, House of Gambia. Yes. Okay, cool. So, so far, it's, yeah. Yes. Uh, I was just thinking. Uh, I put the on on her papers as well to go hosting actually with Bubu. I, I just I just forgot to tell Bubu though. But do, do you, did you check it already, Bu? Hosting with you, so I I hope that you can share with her as well. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I think if I will check the check in uh, for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. If uh, the day after tomorrow is uh, there is no check in, I will. Uh, they go to the second and to, to her thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be uh, changed uh, based on the, the availability of the hosting, the needs. Okay. Thank you, Bubu. All right, for the second, uh, the, the third one, hiring. Doing CV scanning every day, increase my interviewing skill. Doing interview at least two times a day. Get one new online guest support or market builder or host for content that CV scan. And the first interview had up by me. So, who is in the pipeline right now? Oh, the pipeline, uh, not yet. Well, because uh, yesterday I only interviewed one. It must be three, but uh, the, the, the number two is uh, late and I asked. Then to schedule and the number three is uh, he is able to play but schedule the time with Ara. So oh. yeah. Okay. Well, so this is this I think this okay is get interrupted by what I already Okay. Okay. And 
LinkedIn. In case 50 percent followers LinkedIn before, uh, from 1,100 followers to 1,650 followers. Uh, shall we check it first? How many do we have now? Uh, I have it available. Should I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, all right. So I'll go ahead and share my screen, and we'll take a quick look at what's going on on the LinkedIn side. Uh, I do have some feedback for this one, Mrs. Chair, if I can, if I can speak. Yes. And you can see what's going on on the page, of course. But you can also go here to this tab on analytics, right? And you can take a look at the updates drop down from analytics. Oh, uh, please take a look at the updates tab on analytics. And here, basically, you can take a look at uh, at what this is your post right welcome to book at vista a place where everyone finds their passion at work so this is posted on the 11th and it got 252 impressions um, 15 clicks had a six percent click through rate four reactions and a engagement rate not bad of seven and a half percent engagement rate so that was uh, that was your post the one that came before your post was this post and this got 684 impressions so it was higher on the impression list it got 39 clicks which was almost also higher uh, the CTR was a little bit lower is at 5.7 15 reactions and four comments and an 8% uh, engagement rate so based on that uh, boo boo which which post do you think did better the one that came before or your post the the post before my poster. Yeah, okay, let's go to the next one. Then the next one was another post. I believe I put this one down. And this had 359 impressions, <coughs> 12 clicks, 3.3% CTR, 7 reactions, and a 5% engagement rate. Now, okay, based on that, which post did you think did better? Your post or the post after? Uh, from the impression is better the, the after my post sir. Uh huh. Okay. And then for the rest? So can you can you zoom from in the page? For the rest is I think it's better better my post sir. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Boo Boo. Here, let me give you a few tips on um, Boo Boo, are you currently joining any of the copywriting or the photography guilds? I'm joining uh, just one time, sir. Okay. I would encourage you if you're posting actively on social media or if you want to actually have more social media presence in the future to, to join the guilds. We have a lot of discussions about this. Let's go, if I can do a quick survey, let's go ahead and take a look at Boo Boo's post. Does anybody have any comments on how this post can be improved? The picture? Uh, Ara, what could be better about the picture? Okay. Okay. Thank you for the feedback, Mara. You see, it's kind of hard to engage with the back of somebody's head, right? In fact, it's kind of weird. Right? Even I feel weird myself. Right. So that's that's how that's how the audience feels um, when they see the back of your head. It, it doesn't say anything. So whenever possible, try to show front pictures. I'll show you the contrast of that. So this is the front picture, and that shows everybody's face, that shows engagement. When you see people's face, then it, it, it's kind of like they have your attention, you have their attention. When you see somebody's back, it's, like, it's almost like they're ignoring you, um, like you're not, you're not worth their time. So definitely uh, get the face, get the expression. In general, Boo Boo, the best engagement photos tend to be group photos, everyone looking in the front, right? So, uh, so that's just a tip. All right. Yes, Boo I'm sorry because uh, at the time uh, I'm so difficult to find pictures that uh, relate with the caption, and I think this this picture is the related. Ah. Because uh, 
the other picture is have already post in the LinkedIn page or in the Instagram. Okay. Uh, no worries, Boo Boo, on that one. Um, it's just fell fast, and we want you to just just kind of uh, it's good learning material for everyone. Okay. okay. Sir. All right. So, is there anything else you want to add, sir? No, no, okay. Yeah, I'll so, stop sharing. Uh, I'm going back to what is uh, Aaron sharing. So, for LinkedIn, um, create narrative once in a week. So, how many um, narrative have you created? Uh, we basically create like one in a week, one post in a week, that's the goals. So we're going to have the next post by the 18th of October, which is on Friday. Yes. Wait, so if, if I can understand from once a week post in October, let's say we have four weeks in October, so it means you are having a 550 uh, followers right so it means by one post your post should be gaining at least a hundred followers no yeah yes which is it what you were showing actually on hootsuite there is a regular cycle of posts that are going out and currently we have about 392 followers over on uh, Wednesday September 25th we gained the most number of followers we gained 33 uh, followers that was really good so that's on a really good day but generally LinkedIn as you can see it's a daily it's a daily event so you get between 11 12 maybe up to 20 followers a day based on each post so this is what do you think is the most effective way the most economical way to actually get more followers posted on the Okay, I already think it has something to do with posting time. What do you think, Boo Boo? Uh, uh, I think it's uh, if the right now, uh, right now situation, just like uh, if we face the fox in social media, we can just uh, make content that we uh, we are not assuming we are using data, just like that. Or it it will be more uh, effective to gain the engagement. Okay, and uh, let's see, Vito, what do you think is the best way to increase followers? Mm, I think it's related to the content because uh, what I see from what people are sharing, like the same market plus, uh, Mark plus, sorry, Mark plus, and then. Uh, uh, Harvard publisher Gojek for example they share not just like picture and short caption but mostly like with long content like mini article let's say mm -hmm. because I think it's also related to like let's say when people just like scrolling down on LinkedIn and then it's just like actually um, in the middle of doing something and scrolling on LinkedIn and then they see like oh this is a long post and it, it's kind of like interesting I'm gonna follow this first and then read it later maybe maybe something like that okay interesting all right, um, here are my thoughts. Uh, one, people on LinkedIn are, they generally are not so time sensitive at Instagram. On LinkedIn, people are not gonna be checking every hour or whatnot. And LinkedIn also works a little bit differently than Instagram. Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, is sorted uh, most recent at the top, right? Uh, it's now it's mixed. Now it's mixed, yeah. The, the okay. that you haven't seen. Okay, all right. LinkedIn is sort of according to most relevant at the top. So what you will see is you'll see the, the thing that is actually the most connected to you. So in that particular regard, you also have to think, how many times do people check LinkedIn? Maybe about, maybe once a week, maybe once a month. And so based on that, the timing is not as crucial as let's say a faster engagement social media network like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. So, so the timing is a little bit more forgiving. On the content side, yes, the content, we need to look at the data analytics in order to understand what content people are engaging with, and that's generally measured by clicks. LinkedIn very much favors engagement rates that are high, and that's how it decides to distribute your uh, content to more people and gain you more impressions. And on the third one, long-form articles do tend to work better on LinkedIn. It's a picture of me here. 
Um, at some point, you do have to go a little bit more in depth and write a, uh, a full meal rather than just a snack. But there's two easy things that we can do immediately to drive up the follower count. Does anybody know? It's free, it's easy, and it's not even like that, that challenging. Share? Yeah. Uh, everybody who's an employee could actually share and like the stuff that we post, right? So if you're an employee and you're liking this stuff, this will carry this content further along your networks on LinkedIn and get it more reach. And that more reach can then gain to more followers. So whenever you post, you should go on your own LinkedIn profile and like everything. In fact, you can go then and like everything right now. And that will actually spread this across your, your social network a little bit more, more organically. There's one more thing we can do that will, uh, will, will drive up the number of followers. <laughs> All right, where do most followers come from, you think? A what? Uh, sure, yes, they're coming from Jakarta, but Is how are people who are applying? Yes, it's people who are applying. Right? A lot of the people who are following are actually applicants. They take a look at Book and Vista and then they, they follow based on the job. So what can we do to get more followers? Uh, add more job posts. Yeah, post more job posts. If you post more job posts and it's in line with what the content is, then generally speaking, you'll get more followers. Job posts get the most. All right, thank you, sir. So back to my question, right? So if it is like once in a week, and if we take a look at your target, means like one post is actually uh, you are posting for the first one. So I think for the next post, either you really need to to give a bunch of content, or you increase the 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 how many times you post something. Okay. Or you have to change your expectations of how many followers you can get from, from each post. Alright, so I think that's all for Bubu's OKR. Can we take a look at my OKR? My OKR, Mrs. Secretary. It does OKR. Mrs. Secretary, can you take a look at my OKR? Hey, this is yeah. video. Okay, thank you. So first, for the first one, uh, the, uh, I changed the, the objective, but uh, I'm get the right candidate to minimize job out candidate by actually create recreating the job post. Uh, I already created for host and content. Also, wait for host. Uh, I already created that one and post that on Facebook um, for content. So for content, is there, there is a, the changes is in terms of we split content and digital marketing. Um, it's still in, in the creation, not yet fixed. So that's why I haven't posted. And then for MD, this one is actually from Nelly. Uh, yesterday, she had up on me that uh, MB will actually be split into three like the lead generators and then the cold callers and the one who close the deals. So basically there will be like three new posts of, uh, for MB itself. Like, so we're not looking for full stack people as per now as it is um, uh, uh, kind of origin as well to find MB and it's kind of hard to see the pool as well. So that's why we split into three. Um, and then, wait, uh, split into three. But uh, yeah, I also raised my concern actually yesterday. So if we are looking for this tree, it might help for now. And then for, uh, let's say in the future, these three people might also kind of consider like what is their pipeline or what, what they can go um, for yeah. other things. So yeah, and for air support, I haven't had the time to sit with Alvin yet. So that's it. And then can you scroll down, Mrs. Secretary? All BV email according to uh, all BV email is based on the standards. So for now, uh, I already 
uh, got this request from Mas Bayu to actually make sure that everyone improves talent growth by increased bonding on each other employee through an observation. The key result will be 25% improvement on the next DSS on role satisfaction, teammate satisfaction. So, how, how is this going? Yeah, still ongoing. I have scheduled a time for the one on one today with you one and thank you on Friday. And the rest haven't been back to me, we'll do it soon as possible. Going. Yes, sir. My question is this, we did a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And then for STP, okay, so uh, do you have any suggestion on uh, how do we find the data account? Yes, sir. I think, okay, the first thing is, let's, let's, this, this was a discussion um, we had yesterday, right, at the All Hands, which is how does each OKR actually help our SLAs? So our current SLAs is we need to be able to fulfill a role within two weeks. I don't know how long uh, Squad 2 has been waiting for a new host, but I'm pretty sure it's longer than two weeks. So in, in this particular case, the most urgent thing we need to achieve is how do we find hosts for Squad 2 and also online air support so that Squad 2 can continue their mission. As you can see on the employee survey, uh, we have very various you know, some, some people gave a lot, a lot of people gave twos, a lot of people gave fours, and then some people gave threes and fives. Um, so in this particular case, I would say the most important part of this mission is that we do get some hires that can support Squad 2 as hosts. Now, let's go up the pipeline, right? So if you want to get, let's say, two host hires, how many people do we need to actually engage in order to get two hires? So we probably need I don't know, 20. Probably need 20 people in order to, let's say, be able to hire two. Okay, then you go back up from there. How do you get 20 people actually to sit down and get their contacts? You probably need maybe three to four times that. So about 60 people a day that come in. Out of that, we can select maybe 20 to apply. And out of that, we can probably get two to actually join. So if then you break that down into a specific goal, that's about 30 quality engagements a day with, uh, with the, uh, at, at the fair. Generally, the first day is far more busy than the second day, yeah, based on previous experience. So maybe about 40 people on the first day, 20 people on the second day. Okay, then you break that down into an hour by hour ratio. So how many people should be, we should be seeing? We're there for about eight hours. So you should be getting about just five people coming in every hour. So once again, Years before, SDP is very, very spammy. They send just everybody in. They send all the kids that are just walking around and they come in big groups and they just sort of dick around, right? So in the past, we got very distracted with that. We got very distracted like creating a carnival effect there. And I don't think that was actually any good because none of these people were actually gonna apply for jobs. So maybe I thought this, uh, maybe we need to have another wall, right? And it's like, put your Instagram handle up here if you plan on getting a job in six months. If you plan on getting a job in two months or two weeks. So it could be essentially just a timeline and then people just put their Instagram handle on it and then we can see who we need to target. And if they put their Instagram handle on it, we can probably direct message them or, or whatever, right? Invite them to apply later too as well. That's my thoughts of being able to see essentially the crowd that comes in, who is in an urgent mode to, to look for work and who is less urgent. I think that will be actually pretty interesting too. Yeah. So for the Instagram, uh, I think we need to have like numbers targeted to the ones, uh, for the people that put it there. Um, wait, let me just show, oh, what the fuck? Fucking Ngobrol lagi dong web berarti. Hmm. Kayaknya itu gantinya bins, bins yang jelas. Is that good? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you put it like this as a graphic on one of the walls? Like, I plan to find job, need job 
now. One month. Who needs a job now can say, ah, oh, okay, this is my Instagram handle, uh, Jerry, right? And you would know that this person needs a job more urgently. Whoever doesn't need a job can go like, oh, uh, the people we're really looking to talk to are only the people who need a job right now. So that's all we're looking for. We're looking for 30 people, 20 people who can do hospitality that need a job right now. And this is a pretty good way of expressing that. So we give them a marker and we say, hey, can you put your Instagram handle here and tell us when you need a job? And if they put their Instagram handle here, then that's great. Then we can target these people later to sign up and here, here's an iPad, please sign up and sign up for like a job application at Book Vista. But these people who put it over here, we can then just you know, target them later on Instagram and say, hey look, you know, this is Book and Vista Life, right? Mm -hmm. and, and get them in, engaged in that. How's that sound? Yeah? Promising. Promising, right? Because then we essentially segregate the people who are like not urgent from the people who are urgent, and this will help us achieve our SLAs. Okay, so that actually can measure the number of people who are applied, but I'm not sure that can, uh, that can count the number of visitors, right? So we're still going to have the people. <laughs> But after we thought about SLAs, this is actually more important. It is much more important that we get engagement with the right people rather than engagement with people who have maybe their first year. So what are we talking about here, right? Like they're not gonna, they're not gonna be actually looking for work. They're just in there to hang out. So we need to be able to separate this. And based on this, this I think is the first thing that every, every activity that somebody does. Based on that, then we can decide which bucket they go into, right? Oh, okay, you're looking for a job right now, great. Let me sign you up, right? Or, oh, you're looking for a job six months from now. Then just take a picture, join our Instagram, get on Book of Vista Life. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is easy. We can probably make this on site. This is just essentially a, a banner and we'll put it up there. We'll give people permanent markers and they can just put their, their handles on, on this timeline. Yeah. But I think it's better. My 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 vision on this one is actually we uh, provide either kind of like let's say another jar for this one, so four jars, uh -huh. and then we provide like small papers, and then they just put there and then put on. Oh, paper. they can put it that way. Okay. This way helps actually attract the crowd too. This is much more visual. You can see everybody and who so they. So we're going to bring this one. Uh, not not the whiteboard, but we can just get like a banner like a plastic banner, put this out, say so book just a hiring timeline, right? And then people just put it up. If it's in the jar, it's not as visual, so people can't see what everybody else is doing. What makes the booth attractive is actually the graffiti on it over time. More people see what more people are saying, and they come back and they see, oh, okay, even school administrators can start looking at this and be like, oh, even the other people at the conference will look at it and they'll be like, what? Everybody is not urgently looking for work. I'm not going to come to this conference again. Mm -hmm. So this this is actually a pretty good way of generating uh, it's data visualization in a way. Yeah. Yeah, Vita, we can actually uh, put it under the main site. It's like a, all right. So just put the board under the main site. Narrative for each picture, so the the narrative will be hanged 
on the on in Christian beach with cathedral. So like oh, this. Okay. So it would be like a bunch of pictures of HR and then the uh at the end of the string or in the middle of the string there will be narrative for HR also. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, all right. Just to, just to clarify, since we're we're here right now, I've drawn out the booth here. Which which wall do you want which activity on? The main side. It's gonna be the this one. In the back or in the front? Uh, left. Okay, so there's let's just the, the, uh, center panel, right? Center, yeah. left, and right panel. Okay, so center panel is where the one. logo and okay, all right. Well, so pictures and also. And this yeah. is where the jobs then, are, right? Yeah, the job under the Instagram that your idea can be put under. Okay. So all the job posts would be slightly above, and then we yeah. put the timeline here, yeah? Yeah, timeline. Right. Okay. All right, what's on the right panel? On the right panel would be this one. It's a photo before staycation. Okay. So there's a photo booth for a staycation here. Okay, good. And then what's on the left panel? It's engagement for the map. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, great. Do we need stickers? Oh, wait, uh, this isn't where you want to go. It's where you, oh, wait, maybe it can be where you want to go. I don't, hmm, interesting, all right. Hmm. Yeah, it's where you want to go. Okay. Is it where you're uh, where you want to go or where are you from? Where do you want to go? Where okay. Do you want to go? Okay. All right. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's good. Okay. Great. So it's very interactive then, right? All four, all three panels are interactive, but the gold oh, the gold is over here essentially. The timeline is the gold. That's what we're trying to look for. Everything else is distraction, but this is what we want people to do. So you want people to essentially go in first here. Put themselves on the timeline and if they are ready to to get look for work now then we immediately engage with them we say great all right this becomes the one minute interview the sign up if they're not ready to to do whatever then send them to the photo booth or to the map make sense yeah yeah, yeah. okay all right that looks pretty good then all right mm -hmm. so yeah that's also why i put it on the center because like it's supposed to be the main what's it main focus on yes the i agree <laughs> With pizza, and then if they get pizza, they will go right and left. Okay, good. Makes sense. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I am follow up. Uh, I will do follow up today about the STP, to Suta about March and the jar spins and shifting. I already made the shifting actually under like this. Send this list. It can be, I haven't asked for. People delegated here. Maybe I'll ask today. Okay. And, and yeah, maybe if I can coordinate with there, so it's like here to come again face to face. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to delegate to you that. Do we attendee as well? Attendee and D1 should definitely be there. Hey, is there a day burn the hosting? Somebody else has to cover it. This is more important. Hello? Could you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking. Tendi and D1 should definitely be on that list because they're former SAP alumni. And alumni will be far more persuasive than us. And if it's sacrificing a day of hosting versus a day of recruiting, the day of recruiting is well worth it. Yeah? Okay, and then like, uh, also that if they contacted STP and they want us to submit confirmation letter, God I will send, uh, would I send you already to yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So also that, 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 and then about the but printing. Uh, how do you yeah. send this? Um, Confirmation letter. Do we just need to bring it tomorrow or what? Uh, yeah, bring it, but don't forget to sign and also stamp. Put a stamp on it. Yeah. Do we have stamp? We have stamp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that. And also decoration. I still need to follow up. You think to it, Dimata, like how the printing goes and decoration itself. Basically, the decoration is pretty easy. It's like it's just like foil curtains, balloon, and that's that. I think yeah. And also like the string to attach the pictures and the yeah that's the thing. Okay, I think that's that pretty much it about the STP. And then for the hiring, so far I have flowers on her beater. Um, I follow up with Bayou, and then this is an internal tool, and he is 
He's from Manchester, but been living here for almost a year. Um, would like you to actually interview him, just like he's a foreigner, and let's see if. if Is he, he from Saudi know. Arabia? What? Is he the Saudi guy that came in yesterday? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I have an interview with him later this afternoon. Oh, how, how does it go, sir? Uh, I will. I will. He came in yesterday looking to R to actually get that, that back. Um, attain October revenue. It's already done. So fantastic. Great. We've already gotten 29% um, growth compared to last year. This part is the hardest part that I'm doing right now, which is developing senior leaders. And I'm looking to actually... Uh, we got one person promoted, D1, uh, just recently. It was a very difficult process, but we did. So that's one. And we're hoping that he can community manage squad 2A, right? Which covers Uluwatu and Padang Padang. 2B? Or Is it, I think it's 2A. 2A? 2B. Ah! 2B, sorry. 2B or not 2B. All right. And the other part is if we're going to get leadership, of course, people need to know the SLAs. They need to actually be able to work towards process excellence. And the other part on the LinkedIn profile, thank you guys for helping me out. Um, we are currently past Zuzu in terms of total follower growth, which is really good. And we're above a few other companies as well, I believe Outpost and some other, some other brands here in Bali. Uh, the target is to beat Potato Head. And it's getting harder because Potato Head is actually, their growth is a little bit faster than us now. They're getting about 450 followers. We're a little bit behind at 390. And they already have 4,000 followers anyway. So once again, to really think about how to compete in the follower game, is a uh, I think it's a good exercise and uh, and I do need your support on getting this so I would actually like to break down this goal into some segments right so what we can probably do is with Ara and Bubu break down how many followers you like to contribute with your posts right versus how many I like to contribute with my posts and so the, the way that we see that is what is the follower engagement after your post yes yeah, in that particular case, sir, I saw also that sometimes my post is overlap with your post. So how do we actually avoid that? Good sweet. What? Hoot sweet. Just schedule your posts so that we can post pretty much every day. Just make sure that they don't overlap, and that's it. Okay. So can okay. I actually move your post? Yeah. To arrange my yeah. Post? If you want to move my post, that's fine. Yeah. Um, none of them are time dependent, except except Thursdays. Thursdays are throwback Thursdays. So. Thursdays are like, a, it's a concept of just talking about something that happened in the past. So other than that, I think all the rest of the ones are pretty flexible. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? No, that's it for my OKR update. Okay, so we covered everyone's OKR already and um, we still have three minutes left, but I don't think we can cover anything else. So I'm just gonna uh, end our uh, guild today, sync up today here, yeah. and let's move to choose the next chair person. Okay, so chair person should be Ara, and then uh, secretary will be Bubu, recorder will be Vita. Alright, so I motion to adjourn the meeting, do you have any second? Alright, bye everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank you for leading the sync up. Hey, look, 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 it's pretty. Please, please, please. Did you stop the recording?